the Republican National Convention is planning a tribute this week to Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon. A pioneering astronaut died Saturday at the age of 82. His, eight, his Apollo 11 colleague Buzz Aldrin remembers Armstrong for us in his own words, starting with the first time they met. He was wearing roller skates and he was skating around in the, in the back uh, driveway. Uh, and I thought, geez, this guy is a test pilot. Very versatile guy, very talented in whatever he chose to be a part of. We expected to be assigned to Apollo 11. It would be given the first opportunity to make a landing on the moon. About Three minutes into the descent, uh, Neil says to me, he says, I think we're going to be a little long. And we almost got out of the predicted uh, landing area. And we touched down with about 15 seconds of fuel. Then the formal announcement was Neil's, the commander's, and he said, Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. And of course, everybody cheers in the mission control. and. Two of us cheered and looked at each other, and I patted him on the shoulder. He thinks I shook hands with him, but I think I patted him on the shoulder. The first thing that happened when Neil got down to the bottom of the ladder and said, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Uh, he sort of said afterward uh, when somebody said, Well, when did you think about that? And he said, Well, I, I didn't want to waste thinking about it until we were safely on the ground. <laughs>